All right. I want to do a video on <clears throat> on basically um, homeopathically treating your trees or whatever it is using a what I call Thanos permaculture uh, remedies. So let's show you the problem I have here. Now, this tree actually I sprayed this off, so this one doesn't have it. But if you look up, um, I'm trying to find a leaf here. There you go. Look at this, full of aphids. This is an apple tree. Now, I did hose this off, but ultimately that means me hosing every day to get these little aphids off. Now, the natural predator, and I did find one on here, is a ladybug. But there is, basically there is just too much food for them. So what is my solution? Well, it's really simple. I'm gonna treat it. Now, this is wormwood. And what I'm doing is harvesting wormwood from patches that are growing here. It's a patch of young wormwood. And I'm not pulling it out, I'm just cutting off the top because I want it to grow back. So this is medicine. And as you can see, nothing is eating. It doesn't have any, you know, any um, um, aphids or anything else. I mean, this is a really super healthy, great medicine to, to treat. Now, I've done it before where I've turned it into a soup. Um, all you do is you fill up a pellet case, put in a container, press a stone on it, and it's going to ooze out everything. I'm trying something different. What I'm doing is putting down the ground cover that I'm going to wet and then cover and let the worms and other things eat it. I may even put some more ground cover, on, you know, uh, this brown stuff on top. Okay. So there's actually ground cover here. Cover it. The other thing it's going to do is generate heat as it breaks down which is warmth for this plant. So I want to see if um, by doing this simple ground cover medicine, I call it ground cover medicine, whether what's going to happen is it's going to intake the, um, um, the wormwood and then the new growth is going to have the wormwood taste in the leaves. And the idea is, see, look at all these little guys under here. And then what, what it means is these guys who are enjoying enjoying the leaf are going to think, oh, this is wormwood. Oh, this is no good, right? And then, as you can see, the older leaves are fine. They just love the new growth. So new growth is, is, is pretty much 90% water. Where does this water come from? It's going to come from the water from the base where the roots are. What's going to be fueling the water is basically this decomposition of this wormwood. So, and it's going to uptake it into the tree, into the roots, and into the leaves. Or into the roots, into the tree, into the leaves. And we'll see if I can, basically, just by adding ground cover, I'm, I'm simplifying the step. I'm not creating the medicine by um, making what's known as a tea fertilizing tea instead what I'm doing is just adding the ground cover and I'm just going to keep adding this ground cover so as this breaks down the wormwood is nutrients and everything is going to make its way into the ground that is going to manifest it through the tree we'll check back on this and see how it's going and I'm just going to start doing that I've been puzzling 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 how to get rid of mites and anywhere you go the, the choices which I don't like are number one spray the tree with water knock them off waste of water, a lot of energy, a lot of effort. The other one is kind of, um, you know, um, grind up some uh, garlic and some water and spray. Again, you got to maintain it, maintain it, maintain it. So what I'm doing here is, is trying my approach. And I know this works because I did this with melon. I created a wormwood tea and the brown Japanese um, uh, brown beetles just would not touch the, uh, the cabbage and the, the um, um, melon leaves growing up because um, it just was tasting like wormwood. So I'm applying that same idea but without taking the tea and just putting down ground cover. So I'm going to go pick a lot more ground cover here and uh, fill this up. I'm going to hose it down. I'm going to cover it with stones and let nature do the rest.